Hey, it's Jeff Walker, and the question this week is, how does an introvert survive on stage in front of a thousand people for three days? So I just got back from my PLF Live event. Uh, it was down in Phoenix, Arizona. I do this event once a year, and uh, it's grown over the years. Back, my very first one was in 2007. I think we had 100 people there, uh, and then I took a couple of years off, and then in 2010 I started up. I've been doing it every year since then, and it's grown and it's grown. And this one, we just we had a thousand people, and um, and it was awesome, and it was amazing, and it was epic, and it was high energy, and I am an introvert, um, so uh, how did I survive up there? And and in reality, it wasn't just three days of you know, so it was three days of me on stage, no other, well, one other outside speaker uh, I had on the third day, but otherwise it was just me. And before that, I actually had a meeting with my high end coaching clients for two days. So I basically went five days. Uh, the first two days was, was, was with 100 people, and then the last three days with 1,000 people. And uh, I had a great experience. So I just wanted to give you some tips because I know a lot of us are introverts, and a lot of us, we are either going to, maybe we'll be on stage, maybe we'll run our own events, but at the least, we're putting ourselves out there, either in social, uh, hopefully in video, um, and, and so these are the things I've learned over the years. So the absolute number one thing is that I was with my tribe. Uh, these are people that I might not, I certainly don't know all of them. I didn't know all thousand of them, but they came in through my marketing. Um, most of them were product lunch formula owners and they've watched a lot of video of me. They have, you know, they've watched a lot of these weekly videos and they really feel like they know me. And more importantly, they're in my tribe. They are people that resonate with me and my message. And so just like, I mean, so I'm hopeless at a party, like a cocktail party. I'm going to sit off in the corner. You know, I'll look for the one person I know at the party and I'll try to convince them to talk to me for the entire party. So I don't have to go around meeting people because that's not my comfort zone. But I do remember like when I got married at my wedding, it was, I was a lot more comfortable because I knew everyone there. Or like when we had a party, you know, we have a party for like our Platinum Plus folks and I'm super comfortable there because I know everyone there and I know they're in my tribe. And so even though there's a thousand people and a lot of them I didn't know, they were in my tribe and I felt a lot more comfortable. And I, I felt more like the ringleader um, that was just helping to connect them and create an amazing experience and an amazing community for them. And you know, creating an amazing community is a core strength of mine. So I was working in like an area, like my genius zone, I mean, my unique ability area. And it was very, very comfortable. And of course, I'm up there teaching product lunch formula, so I'm teaching stuff that I'm super comfortable with. And at the event, I had a lot of time to recharge and, uh, and recover and renew built in. So during the breaks, I had downtime where, you know, it wasn't like I was out talking to people during the during that downtime. I'd get backstage and I'd have time to center and focus there. Then in the evenings, um, for the most part, I was unavailable. and I was in bed by 9 p.m. so I could get have my time to recharge. And I was up early and doing my meditation, following my meditation practice every single day, even in the midst of you know, crazy times because it was it was super, super busy. I had a lot going on and my days were very planned out and choreographed because I'm out there leading all these people. But even in the midst of that, I kept up with my meditation practice, my yoga practice. And it was an absolutely epic thing. The other thing was, you know, it, it's grown over time. It was a lot easier with 100 people when I started out. Um, or actually, I take that back. It wasn't a lot easier, but I think that progression from the smaller events up to the big events um, has been easier. That you know, if, if this was my first event, I probably would have had a meltdown. Another key thing was massive uh, renewal and recovery after the event. So um, when the event ended, it ended on Sunday evening. I had a great evening. I spent with my my team um, celebrating what an awesome experience it was. Uh, I had a great breakfast. Um, with my team the next morning and then I, I had it off with my wife and we went off for four days to recharge We went to a nice resort out in the desert and uh, we went for some hikes. We got we went, we got a couple massages 
Um, I spent a lot of time sitting there looking at the desert with my journal in my hand, just reflecting on you know, the awesome abundance of my life and how I got to you know, spend three days or really five days with you know, these people that were in my tribe that loved to be part of my world and loved to support me and that feed me energy so that, you know, that I could, uh, so I could bring the energy back to him. So I, I spent the time journaling and, and I spent the time sleeping. I slept for over 10 hours every single night. You know, I was in bed at, at 9 p.m. and sleeping until 7 or 7.30 in the morning. And I was also taking naps every single day. So even though this event was super, super high energy, um, and, and I was able to really, because I was with my tribe, I was able to feed off the energy of that tribe. I still came out of it knowing, you know, I'm going to be depleted and I just really need to rest. So I planned that rest and renewal in. And oh, by the way, I wasn't online. You know, I peeked in at our PLF Live community a few times, um, but I wasn't, I, was, I wasn't looking at email. I, I wasn't looking at the, in fact, I really didn't have my phone turned on. 99% of the time. I wasn't talking to my team. They gave me the space after the event to recover because frankly, as an introvert, I, I need that. So that is how, as an introvert, you can get on stage in front of a large crowd and spend five days going absolutely nonstop, super high energy. And that's by being very, very intentional. Intentionally, intentional with who you're going to be in front of, intentional with your renewal, before the event, during the event, and your, how you renew and recharge after the event. So I'm Jeff Walker. If you're watching this anywhere else besides my blog, at jeffwalker.com. Head on over there. That's where all the goodies are. If you were at Peel Off Live, definitely scroll down, leave a comment. Actually, no matter whether you were there or not, scroll down, leave a comment for me. But I'd definitely love to hear from everyone who was at Peel Off Live. Um, give me a share on social. Give me some kind of reaction. I love getting a reaction. And let's go get them this week.